Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing how to hopefully resolve issues you might have with your battery on your Windows 10 device and perhaps you have it plugging in but it's not charging. Assuming it's not an issue with your AC power adapter as well as there's not an issue with your physical battery installed on your computer, we're going to be going through how to hopefully resolve your issue if it's purely a software related issue. So keep that in mind, if you have a bad battery here, um, there's really no software fix that's going to fix that. It's a hardware related issue. But if there's hope, this is definitely worth something to try. So we're going to basically start by heading over to the Start menu. And we're going to search up Device Manager. On Windows 10, it should be listed directly above Control Panel. So you want to proceed to left click on that. So now that you are in the device manager, you want to go where it says the batteries and left one little drop that arrow next to that. Now it's a little bit interesting because I'm using a desktop virtual machine so it's only showing one battery listed here. However, if you are using a laptop, there should be two. There should be one that says Microsoft AC adapter and there also might be one that says Microsoft ACPI um, compliant control method battery. Try and say that a few times but um, there should be two batteries listed here so if you see any battery listed here what you want to do is right click on it and then left click on uninstall. You're going to get a little warning. Left click on OK and then do that with both batteries. Now keep in mind that Windows will automatically try and re-download the driver software once you uninstall it. So do not worry that you're creating any long-term issue. You actually could take note of what battery you're using. Whatever indication that you could give an online search what kind of battery you're using. So you can manually download the driver as well. But that should really be unnecessary in, unless you have a very extreme case. Especially if you didn't have internet connection I could see that being an issue. But hey, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Once you're done, you can close out of the device manager window and then check your battery settings again, see if your computer's powering up and that'll pretty much be it. So again, I hope you guys enjoyed this brief little tutorial and I will catch you in the next video. Goodbye.